Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know I'm All City with AllCityLiveTV.com, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about the offensive oriented four versus the playmaking three level scorer. Now, I've had the pleasure of running with both Bills for an extended period of time, and I want to give you guys my feedback while showing clips to show you guys the benefits of each build. They are two totally different builds per se, but people ask me which build do I prefer, so I'm making this video to show you guys exactly how I feel about both bills but before we continue this video i want to kind of holler at you guys for a second because this city culture this hood life culture a lot of you guys are probably not familiar with it but like atvs motorcycles dirt bikes are all like deeply ingrained into this culture and this is like years in the making um and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because one of our homies, one of our family members within our Discord, P, lost his brother late last night in an ATV accident. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, and it kind of, you know, kind of makes my hair stand up because it's a very real thing. If it could go through generations where I have personally lived through this myself, seeing close homies in a coma and, you know, having them pass due to motorcycle accidents or uh, dirt bike accidents, um, it's a very real thing. And I want to tell you guys that if you could just holler at your brother and whether or not you're in the hood life culture or city life culture, if you see your brother doing wrong, if you could just kind of put your hand on his shoulder and let him know that you there, you love him, you're doing wrong, hop off, put on a helmet, something. Listen, life is short. Do not make God's job even harder. And if you guys could kind of just help one person or stop one person from doing wrong or help them understand that although we in this hood life culture are short sighted and we got to kind of live for the moment because we cannot see how much God has in store for our future at that moment. When you're in that lifestyle, you just don't see it. So if you got the power to or the strength to kind of say, hey, homie. I love you, bro. I miss you, bro. I need you, bro. Just chill, bro. If you got that strength within you, you can help save your brother and help him see the future that God has in store for him. The homie P, the homie Mills, my deepest and most sincere condolences go out to you and your family. I hope you guys pull through this. You guys should know that you have a family member in me. You need anything, just holla. If you guys on this video want to leave thoughts, comments, concerns, prayers, uh, just kind of leave them in the comment section and we finna get right into this video. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to compare both bills, the offensive oriented four versus the playmaking three level scorer. And we're going to compare the attribute points and also the badge count and the badges, the type of players that they are. So we're going to go into the attribute points first, and I'm going to pull down my webcam so that we can actually see the full scope of their attribute points and as you guys can see i have a 95 driving dunk and 87 three ball now this offensive oriented four has a higher level three ball at 87 my playmaking three level scorer at nine to get to 95 ball. so you start off with an 81 three ball but you know as you get to 99 you increase those attributes as well he gets pro dribble moves off rip so that's a good thing to get pro dribble moves off rip this is one of the benefits of the offensive oriented four although i can say that i do like the normal drill moves for my playmaking three level i feel almost unguardable on my playmaking three level a 95 perimeter defense and a 95 steal he's more of a perimeter type of lockdown he also has a double lock take he has an 85 speed with an 81 acceleration 
And as you guys can see, this player is not even fully upgraded yet, and he's an absolute demon out there. I really enjoy the offensive oriented four, but those are the attributes that we have right now. And I'm gonna go into the badge count so you guys can see what we're working with. 10, 12, 23, and 24. Now, a lot of you folks out there like to say, well, I have better badge counts, but do you have better attributes? Did you create the player for your play style? That's really what you wanna touch base on because I've made players with 88 badge counts and they don't necessarily meet my needs on the court. So we made this player considering everything that we have learned about the game. And that's what you should do when you're creating players out there. Posterizer and Slithery on Hall of Fame is really all you need to get you to contact dunk animations, which you guys are going to see in the clips. Man, homies out there just catching bodies like crazy with this bill shooting with only four shooting badges i am shooting exactly how i shoot if not better with my playmaking three level scorer and i haven't even reached the full potential of my shooting as i only have four uh, out of the 12 shooting badges on this player and he shoots absolutely amazing with that 87 three ball if you guys are not familiar at 86 your green window opens up tremendously and it's heavily noticeable since i created this player i've noticed that tremendous difference in hitting those greens these are the playmaking badges that i'm working with here for this offensive oriented four and 16 out of 24 defensive badges intercept the hall of fame clamps hall of fame pickpocket hall of fame off ball pests i got on hall of fame i do want to mention that heart crusher is still goaded a video for heart crusher is coming very soon so y'all be sure to stay tuned for that video now we're going to get into the three level scorer the playmaking three level scorer and show his attributes as well i'm going to quit right out of this and we're going to bring up the playmaking three level scorer so you guys can see the comparison between the two bills and i gotta say i've been having fun on the offensive oriented four but the offensive Offensive oriented four cannot play the one through five position. The playmaking three level scorer can run point guard and run center is a pure triple double machine. He's six eight. My my offensive oriented four is only six seven. And now we're gonna bring up the attributes for the playmaking three level scorer and i'm gonna pull that up right now put him on screen so you can see what we're working with currently being that he's a 97 overall about to hit 98 i did reach 99 but then we were playing some park event i forgot i think it was um the puma event and i kind of dropped my overall playing that event because for some reason i wish they would fix that but anyway 97 driving dunk and 83 three ball he has the pass accuracy because if you guys don't know i like to increase my pass accuracy on these builds because i love the i absolutely love the bullet passer badge uh, he has a 78 ball handle at 99. He has, he gets the pro dribble moves, but um, a 81 speed with ball and you know he shines defensively on the block, O board and D board. At 84 speed, 81 acceleration, and that's what we're working with with the playmaking three level. I'm gonna show you guys the badge setup for this player: 21, 11, 26, and 27. Just a tremendous amount of badges that suit me really well on this build i have so much fun playing with the playmaking three level scorer the only difference is i cannot bring this player up to the perimeter as he is six eight so although i can't bring him up per se like i can guard up there but he's not gonna be the ideal defender to have at the perimeter so this is the only like shortcoming of this build these are the shooting badges that i'm working with hot zone hunter on gold deep threes on gold and he hits fairly well i have i may not have as high a standard as a lot of you guys out there but i gotta say i am completely comfortable with the amount of threes that he's able to knock down especially from extended areas extended range areas so 
I like the deep threes that he's able to shoot. These are the playmaking badges that I'm working with. Quick for a step on Hall of Fame with Unpluckable on Hall of Fame. These playmaking badges put together really make for like outstanding dribbling and just great drives to the basket. Like I said, I feel somewhat unguardable with this build. These are the defensive badges that I'm working with for this build. And you can see off-ball pest. I really like the off-ball pest badge on Hall of Fame. And that's where I leave it. And I'm working with Intimidator Hall of Fame, Rim Protector Hall of Fame, Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame, Chase Down Artist on Silver just to get the animations. So that's what I'm working with on defense. And now we're going to talk about like, I'm going to bring up the gameplay clip so we can talk about the comparison between the builds. Let's get into the gameplay clips. All right. So the clips for the first build that I'm going to show you guys that we can talk about is on the offensive oriented four. He has a double lock take. And a lot of people ask me which are like double lock lockdown takeovers did you choose and i chose the per the perimeter badge drop so that we could drop the badges of people that are shooting from the perimeter and then i chose shot contest as well to hopefully lock down and those two lockdown badges have been working tremendously well i gotta say i also i, I gotta say also that i really love the lockdown takeover because of the boost in speed so it helps you out there when you're trying to defend on the court so you want to be an elite defender of those double lockdown takeovers really do well although i wasn't a huge advocate for double lock takeover or for lockdown takeover when i put it on this build i really noticed a tremendous difference i wanted to show you guys also that shooting from extended areas is not a problem with the offensive oriented four he only has four badges to his name and he's able to knock down shots getting ruffles out there with no problem we noticed this in yesterday's event and we was just like what in the world how he only has four badges how is that possible but he's knocking them down these clips that you're looking at is from the offensive oriented four he's able to do almost everything offensively that the playmaking three level can do but only better he finishes really well he shoots really well and he's a perimeter type of defender stealing the rock and just going crazy having a player like this on your team is just priceless catching bodies dropping them on the ground face first finishing them off he's minimum weight he's six seven he shouldn't be doing this but he gets the spin dunk and finishes them off just as i do with my playmaking three level scorer just complete bodies out there he's an animal and i love everything about the build a sh uh, shooter a uh, uh, inside scorer a uh, defender at the perimeter everything so the clips that you're looking at now is from the playmaking three level scorer and you guys know that i go insane with this build I love the movement that I like the agility, the the responsiveness, as you guys can see, I was going crazy in that clip there. It's just so fun. He shoots leaners with that 81 three ball. It's just absolutely outstanding. Like I said earlier before, the only difference between the two bills is that one is a perimeter defender and one is more of an interior defender. I cannot bring my perimeter defender to play down low and i cannot bring my playmaking three level scorer to play up top so these are like it's really like a matter of how you want to approach the game both builds are absolutely amazing i am absolutely certain that you will not be disappointed if you guys make any one of these builds you just gotta make the decision on where you would like to play or dominate defensively so those are my thoughts on the playmaking three level scorer versus the offensive threat you can see he just goes absolutely insane somewhat unstoppable jumping over players he just does it all i hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful and or informative and if you did please consider dropping a like on the video come on out catch us on live stream you guys can watch the offensive oriented for develop and progress we hope to see you guys out there and until then i'll catch you guys on the next video easy out.